Yes, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Once again, once again, thank you for uh, coming to my Dave Nation uh, podcast or audio, wherever it is. This will be an audio portion only. I just want to say that Dave Nation is having a meltdown. It's not just Nancy Pelosi or uh, anybody at Washington DC having a meltdown. I'm having a meltdown. Um, Dave Nation is having a meltdown here on my YouTube channel. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna say for the record for you guys, the Juggernugger or the J uh, Jesse Witchway, as he's known by on YouTube, is going to be leaving YouTube at the end of the year, end of this year, in 2019. He's going to leave YouTube and go to his so-called uh, Story Fire. And now a lot of people don't know Story Fire is kind of like telling stories. Um, him and that other guy. I don't know his name anyway, developed this app in a website called Storyfire. And according to his, uh, according to how, how they did this, is they want to have people telling stories about their lives to, it's just, it's just like if you were to read a book and stuff like that. I'm not tr promoting Jesse Witchway or uh, the Juggernauts. whatever, whatever he's going by these days. I still don't know what that means. Anyway, nonetheless, we are talking about meltdown. I'm having a serious meltdown for all you YouTubers out there. I'll put that in the title. Dave Nation is having a meltdown. It's not because of you guys not seeing my videos or hearing them. I'm just having a serious meltdown. A very serious meltdown. It's not to do with illness. Now, people, it's not to do with illness. We're going to rule that out. Not to do with illness. Not to take drugs or anything. Don't take. I don't take drugs or any drugs. I'm going to admit that right here. First and foremost, um, I'm just having a complete meltdown, and I don't know. I'm like, I got a fog in my mind. I'm kind of uh, belibbered. Why am I having a meltdown, do you say? Well, I'm having a meltdown because of this debate. Not any other debate out there. This is the federal debate. Between that time and when they got elected the, on the election day, uh, August was it? Uh, uh, no, it's not August. I keep thinking August. October 21. October 21, 2019. Now, as the day went on, everybody was doing their, you know, doing their last minute pitch. At, at when the dust settles and people come out and vote, as the party leaders would say, go out and vote. Go vote often, and I mean often. You don't hear from me. You hear from Stephen Harper. You're going to hear from uh, Andrew Shear, and you're definitely going to hear from the Green Party, which is Elizabeth May. Um, Drew Singh Singh, where his name is, is an. Um, I'm going to call it out. Like he would say, we're going to call it out. Any religious that's out there, we're going to call it out. If you guys want to call it out, times now to call it out. Uh, we're going to call it out on this podcast. You damn right are going to call it out um, by name. Right, we're going to call it by name. Um, if it's racist, we're going to call it out. If it's racist, we're going to call it out. But like I said, Dave Nation here is having a meltdown on my YouTube channel. I'm not move, I'm not leaving YouTube. I know the Juggernugger or whatever his name is, Jesse, which way was his last name? Um... He's leaving YouTube permanently. He's leaving YouTube at the end of this year. Uh, there was a video out there on this YouTube channel. Uh, he made a big deal about it. He made a big production video about it. He's leaving YouTube for good and moving on to uh, Story Fire. I'm on there a bit, uh, just a bit. Uh, he promotes his own uh, Story Fire, and he does have merchandise, by the way. I, I see a lot of people wear it. Uh, <laughs> And, uh, yeah, don't get me wrong, it's called Storyfire, and that's what it's going to be. I will not be off the platform on YouTube. I'm going to stay on the platform as long as I can. Um, but the other uh, other YouTuber out there, he's leaving YouTube. Because he thinks, he thinks that um, he's worried about his video getting monetized. The word that they like to use is monetizing videos on YouTube. <laughs> Uh, well, they only get money, get this, they only get money uh, uh, when YouTubers upload their videos. It's not the creators don't get money, it's the ads that get money. When ads show on their YouTube channels, they get paid. Trust me, I kid you not. Uh, Jesse Witchway is, get, uh, is learning the ropes. He's learning the ropes on YouTube. 
it's the ads that you get paid for. If if I if you uh, do you follow me kind of thing. Uh, it's not it's not you putting up a video of your own self. You don't get paid for that. You get paid for the ads that get onto your YouTube channel. You get the money, you get the moolah when ads are shown on your YouTube channel. It's like a commercial ad, essentially, in a way. <laughs> and, um, like I said, um, everybody, uh, from after, after the debates, this is a federal, it was a federal election, here we are, uh, the, the day after, this is kind of reviewing here. Um, Andrew Shears back where he was, still hammering down Justin Trudeau, and he's, you know, anyway, you, if you ever heard of Andrew Shear, you'll know what he's saying, you know, talking to, well, not really talking, but telling Justin Trudeau he's not fit for being in office and everything. It's like, it's like Donald Trump in a way. Um, but they're back where they were before this all started, all before the elections. We thought, we thought I was going to change from being a liberal to a conservative. But that didn't happen. So my person lost. But yes, everybody's back where they are. They have lost seats. They gained seats. Maybe they gone uh, gained seats. And uh, yeah, so we're back where we were. No one, uh, no one kicked out Justin Trudeau. He's still back in there again. Uh, uh, so he's there for the next four years. And Andrew Shearer, I don't know what he's going to be doing here on out for the future. Um, but anyway, I kid you not, Green Party, she st still keeps her seat. Like like I said, this is the day after elections. Nobody get kicked to the curve. Everybody's back where they were when they first started on the whole thing. Um, it's kind of like day one in a way. It's kind of like day one starting your election. Yeah. And uh, we're just talking about the day after. Uh, a lot of people that I heard on the radio stage, TV stage, want to kick Justin Trudeau to the curve. Uh, he's not what he's advertised. I'll say it for my benefit. Uh, he's not what he's advertised. I kid you not. But anyway, here we are the day after. We're back where we were when they first called for election. We're still at it. Once again. Um, moving forward in the future, I don't know what Andrew Shear or any of those other people are going to be doing here on out. Uh, that's up to them. Are they going to work on their platforms or are they going to tell Justin Trudeau a few more times that he's not fit for office and blah, blah, blah kind of thing? Uh, I think um, that's my review. That's my uh, after the day after the election. Um, I just voted conservatively the very first time. I swayed myself, I told myself, I'm hearing this, this is true, he's getting, uh, all the people are leaving his, uh, and a lot of other things. Anyway, this is just a review, the day after the elections. Um, what's so funny about this, you know, it really, really <laughs> pains me to say, everybody's back where they were, essentially, before this all this election was called. Yeah. So, anyway, that's it. Don't forget, uh, Je uh, Jesse, which way. You're leaving YouTube for good at the end of this year. I'm staying. I'm staying on YouTube. Okay, so that's my that's my two cents on it. I get it. You're going to leave YouTube. I get that. You're going to be on your story fire, you, the one you created. Because um, uh, they're all worried about this so-called uh, monetizing videos on YouTube. That's anybody's platform. And people get a little upset when you monetize their videos and anyway there's a lot of saying that people not liking YouTube for many reasons um, listen there's nothing I can do about it since I'm a user to it what I could uh, suggest to you people is not monetize your videos then you won't have to worry about that um, they won't have to get ready the only way the only uh, I'll, t I'll, give, I'll give you uh, I'll give you a hint this is my solution is politician would say this is my solution if you really want to um, make uh, you got to make yourself a good video on YouTube maybe if you make a good video on YouTube and a lot of people get noticed maybe they'll pay you to have that video up there how about that uh, how about that like a stamp of approval people like to say in the politics world stamp of approval let's make this video stamp of approval oh I approve of this video 
And uh, yeah. So anyway, this is my podcast. Hope you like it. Dave Nation, this is still like a meltdown today. Very, very much meltdown. Not supposed to have a meltdown. Well, I had a meltdown. Completely had a meltdown with uh, myself, essentially. Um, that's all. That's all I can say. And I'm gonna make it plain English here, not French versions. Um, and yeah, yeah. So don't worry, uh, Jesse Woodway. Just keep doing what you do best. Just stay on YouTube. Don't leave YouTube. Um, I know, I know. It's a tough call because you have many view, uh, viewers and many subscribers on your YouTube channel. I get it. I saw it. Uh, but uh, you know, keep keep going, keep going. Because I know your videos are pretty good. They're very epicy. I call them very epicy in a way. It tells a story along the videos. It, even your brother, sometimes I, I have my two cents on your brother uh, uh, that's uh, going around exposing you. It's not the first time he's done that. By the way, I uh, hope you know that. Not the first time he's done that. Uh, so it's just Jesse Witchway gets all upset every time he, the other brother does that. Um, well, he, he doesn't get all mad and all angry and you know hip, huff and puff kind of thing. He just gets upset when you expose people on YouTube. They don't like that. They really don't like that. You know, you can talk to him quietly or privately, as the old saying goes. And, um, yeah, they, that's the good way of doing it. And then you don't have to expose everybody on YouTube. If it needs to be exposed, we'll do it, okay? We'll let you know if it needs to be exposed. But I'm not, I'm not um, gearing to all the people that are out there. I'm just telling you guys, this is a podcast. Hope you enjoy this. I'm just having a meltdown today. Uh... I'm in a fog. I really am in a fog. I kid you not. Um, this uh, election cycle has gone pretty weird. Pretty weird indeed. Um, I'm always asking, the, uh, I always question myself with these politicians. I really do. I have a hard time questioning these people. Um, you get Justin Trudeau, who is very boisterous. And he speaks English and French fluently if you go up to and ask him. Or when you say to him in English or French, he'll know both languages. Um, we're supposed to be multi-language uh, in Canada. Multi-language. It's not just uh, French and English. It's the Japanese and Chinese. And so, anyway, anyway, we're supposed to be multi-language um, world, in a way. No boundaries kind of thing, the no boundary language thing. Um, so we can adapt. As I like to say, we can adapt to our languages. We can adapt. If, there's a, if we need to say it in English, we'll say it in English. If we need to say it in French, we'll say it in French. When need be. When need be. If, if it's called for it. But nonetheless, this is a review on the day after the election. Now, I'm not tooting my horn, I'm not doing a rant. I will not put the rant on this title. And, um, yeah, so they're just, they're just carrying on to the narrative. Justin Trudeau and Andrew Scheer, nobody kicked anybody off uh, out of office or you know, as Prime Minister of Canada. Justin Trudeau sta he stays where he is. Andrew Scheer stays where he's a conservative guy. Um, uh, that other guy, I can't remember his name again. Um, uh, and the Green Party lady, which a lot of people should know, is, uh, what's, his, what's her name? Um, Elizabeth May. Yes, Elizabeth May. She's from the Green Party. I can never figure her out. I kid you not. She's swaying in different ways. She's kind of like over the map in a way. I can't figure her out. I really, it's like the scratch of the head. But uh, her platform is all over the map. I mean, I'm trying to figure her out. It's very hard. I kid you not, people. But anyway, enough said of that, and we have the People Party. I, I, I don't know who those other two guys were, but um, but anyway, this will be definitely be on my YouTube channel. I will put this up as a review uh, for the uh, uh, federal election that we had. Um, people came out in droves. I could have gone to the... Um, to everywhere. They came in droves. Anyway, thank you very much, this Dave Nation. I'm just having a meltdown right now. I don't want to apologize to anybody. <laughs> just like apologize. I'm not going to apologize. This is not apologetic kind of thing. Um, I don't apologize to anybody. I'm just going to say Dave Nation is definitely having a meltdown and I don't know why kind of thing. 
I'm just having a meltdown, just like in Nancy Pelosi. Sometimes when Nancy Pelosi is in her in those meetings, she has a meltdown with uh, with Donald Trump. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I'm having a meltdown. Some people do have meltdowns. They overblow what they want to say, and you know, um, it's called circumventing. It's called circumvent. I'm thinking of this word you now. It's, it's called circumventing. You got to circumvent what you're saying out there to your public out there, and. Uh, and uh, yeah, so anyway, thank you for this review. This will be a lovely review, and uh, we're going to hold these people in government accountable. And we should, we should, we should. Um, and the Brexit deal, we don't know what the Brexit deal is doing. I'm still worried about that one uh, for the UK. This is not to do with the US or the Canada, it's not to do with the UK if they have to leave the EU. You know, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Anyway, anyway. Oh, by the way, don't forget Halloween's coming up, everybody. I will mention that Halloween is coming up. I don't know if I'm going to do a special for Halloween on my YouTube channel. I might surprise you people on the Halloween thing. Coming soon on this platform, on this YouTube platform. And I'm not, I'm not doing a live stream. I'm pre-recording this, uh, this uh, podcast. So you can listen to it later. I'll mention it audio only on the title. And um, when audio only means we're doing audio only and no visuals. No visuals whatsoever. I, I tend to really like that. I may put a video up there. I might not. But uh, no visuals. I, I meant that in the title of my videos. Audio only. It means only audio unless you want to listen to it through. And it's in stereo, not mono, it's in stereo. And um, anyway, see you guys on the next podcast. Till then, ciao for now. Hope you liked it.